please put your hands together and welcome your moderator from IGN. Give it up for Greg Miller. Scream! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the world changes. November 11th, when LEGO Batman 3 is unleashed on the world, and everyone finally gets to play as the greatest superhero of all time, Superboy. <laughs> There's other people in the game. We're going to talk to everybody about it right now. First off, ladies and gentlemen, please introduce the assistant game director, the one and only Stephen Sharples. <laughs> Next up, he needs no introduction. You've seen him talk about every LEGO game ever. Ladies and gentlemen, Arthur Parsons. Okay, so you guys, of course, already made the announcement. Jeff Johns, in this game, a character. He makes comics, now he's in a game. Show me the screenshot. What's going on here with the Jeff Johns? Put it up there. Welcome to the stage, the one and only Jeff Johns. <laughs> CCO, a big title. That's you in the game, Jeff. That's yeah, you. yeah, it is me in the game. That's little you, that's crazy. Yeah, and they gave me a ton of superpowers, so I'm super powerful. <laughs> Next to enter the stage, Troy Baker, Batman himself. <laughs> Troy, you don't have super cool powers. He's got a bunch of super cool powers. You're just a dude in a suit. Well, I guess some people need superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just rely on my detective abilities, my billions of dollars in the bank, and my cool gadgets. <laughs> Let's get another real person up here. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Smith. Everything about the game makes me happy. Being in it makes me even happier, man, because they asked me what superpower I wanted, and I said, give my character in the game the power to make a successful movie. <laughs> <laughs> and even in the fantasy version of the game, they said, no, that would never happen. <laughs> But it was delightful to be included. I, I, I've been playing uh, the Lego games since uh, they first came out, and I used to play them with my daughter. So when I got the call about this, like, I, I'm not even c kidding you, I cried. <laughs> I rolled an absolute tear because this is one of those, you can't even say it's a dream come true, right. because I, didn't, I never dreamed anyone would ever be like, you want to be in that game you played with your kid when she was a kid? So I w immediately went down to my kid's room, and I was just like, they, I, you're never going to believe this. They just asked me if I wanted to be in the Batman Lego game. And, and she, she goes, was like, get out of my room, Dad! Yes. <laughs> she was like, we used to play that when I was a kid. I was like, right? And she's like, you love Batman. I was like, I know. And she goes, this is better than winning an Oscar. And I said, yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> <laughs> And which felt good for a second, and then she goes, because you'll probably never win an Oscar, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this, honestly, is my Oscar, and I, I thank you for it, and everybody, and the Academy. Thank you. Arthur, when you sit down and you're like, all right, time to do Lego Batman 3 and stuff, is it a conversation with, like, Jeff and Jim? Like, how does that go? Or, like When we start is... How do, we, how do we take your expectations? Because you all have expectations about the game, right? You want it to be great. You want it to be bigger and better than the last one, okay? So, so uh, we, we have to start with that. And where do we go? What do we do? You know, uh, and this one is all about, like Jeff says, it's about characterization, about personality. It's about making sure that, that, that when you play Beast Boy, he does everything that he should, you know? And, and it's about doing silly things, like, you know, when you're a Wonder Woman and you fly around, yeah, you get the old 70s TV theme blare, uh, you know, blaring out. And, and it's, it's about making sure that it's a great interactive world. All right, so switching gears, Mr. Troy Baker. Uh-oh. You're Batman. Yes. You like being Batman. You've been Batman before. Yes. I like giving you back rubs. Oh. Um, <laughs> my question is this. Of course, Troy Baker, he's been a whole bunch of iconic characters, including the Joker. Oh, yeah, there was that. <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> Leading up to that role, and like, you know, when that Batman game was coming out, you and I talked a lot about like, what it's like to step into something that iconic, and yeah. what you guys went through getting ready for that character. Is there less of a pressure? I mean, doing a Lego game, right? Lego games are fun and goofy and plastic. Like, did you not, did, is, was it like, ah, oh, it's really tough to be the Joker and be really serious and scary, but it's really easy to be Batman? No, something like this, it really gives you like a complete welcome break from, because a lot of the games out there are, like, like you said, I mean, they're, they're, they're pretty serious, pretty heavy, and the whole goal of this is to have fun with this. So you know, if there was any pressure that we felt, I mean, 
Arthur and, and everybody at TT was just like, remember, this is Lego. We can have fun. It's OK. Um, and it's kind of the old theater adage. If it ain't on the page, it ain't on the stage. And the scripts were just great. It's, it's like you said, the story of this is so good. How can you not have fun with this, <laughs> you know? So I mean, if, if, we, if we had any pressure, it was the pressure that we put on ourselves because we just want to make a great game. Um, but we really just had to just walk in and, and read this stuff because it was, it was that good, just all natural. They made Batman in space work. Yeah, right? That's a feat of itself. That's, <laughs> that's also why it's beyond Gotham, not don't Not spell it out. Let them come to their own realizations. Well, you kind of know. You kind of know it's in space when you see alien worlds and green lanterns and pink oh. lanterns and. I didn't put that together. <laughs> Sharples. Nilla. You, you put together this presentation. Absolutely. We've talked about these guys. Yep. Do you want to talk about some new characters? Some other characters that are in this game? Yes. We can talk some, about some characters. Some reveals. Yeah. Some exclusive New York Comic Con reveals. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Well done. Well done. <laughs> Conan O'Brien. Absolutely. Conan's role in the game is, is just great. He's, he is he's the guy that's sort of helping you know what's where. And he's, he's introducing the various aspects of the free roam world to you. And you know what? Some of the stuff that he says in the game. Again, you've got so, so many layers of humor. Um, the VO sessions were, were interesting. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm pretty sure there's something else we need to show, right? I think so. I think so. there might be something. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You did it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the panel, Stephen Amell. <laughs> Stephen, what's it like to be drug into this Lego universe? Like, is this exciting? This is great. Uh, Jeff, Jeff will uh, confirm this story. I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not hugely involved in the gaming community because I've become obsessive and I don't have that much time. Um, but uh, there was another video game that I voiced Green Arrow for, and it was really an email to Jeff saying, uh, I, "Green Arrow is going to be in this game. Can I do it?" And he was like, "Will you do it?" <laughs> And, uh, and it, was the same, it was the same with this. When I found out that Green Arrow was going to be involved, I, I don't want anybody else voicing Green Arrow. So then, how much Arrow is in the game? Wait, isn't this an Arrow game? <laughs> I'll take this one. <laughs> there was no follow-up, that was it. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, guys. Uh, well, this is, this is something that people... I don't want to spoil that necessarily for people. Thanks for coming, everybody. It's been a fun panel. <laughs> <laughs> um, however, you know, um, what, what I would like to say is, um, just so you all know, because you, you, this game is huge. This is, this is the biggest game that, that Stephen and I have, have made, and I've been involved in quite a lot of the LEGO games. Um, so... It's massive, but are you all aware of like the, the DLC that we're doing for this game? You heard about this? A little bit of a woo. Oh, yeah. There you go. I, I would have expected if you a bigger woo. If you read you'd know all about it. <laughs> um, so you can see here, we've got, you know, uh, the idea of doing this is it allows us to bring some of the, the, the other sort of branches of DC that don't fit into the, the story and into the, the free play experience we're creating. Um, so, you know, we have a Man of Steel pack, which is you know, breathtaking, a level on Krypton. You also have, like, the Dark Knight pack, which is, again, you know, it blows my mind. The tumblers in there, we're recreating a scene with, with um, Joker Nurse, and it, some crazy stuff goes on. And you're obviously there with the 75th anniversary pack. That is just us having fun. You know, who would have thought we could have got Zebra Batman in a game, um, amongst others? So, but you can see, this, the, the season pass here is like we announced three packs. Um, do you want to know what the fourth pack is? Yeah. That, Stephen just whispered in my ear that that wasn't, so this isn't my fault. He said you're not loud enough. So do you want to know what the fourth pack is? Yeah. Does, does, does the other Stephen down the end here want to let us know what that could be? I do, I do, I do. 
So, if we'll see here, we are proud to announce that we have got an Arrow DLC pack. Mm. So cute. And, and just, just so you all know, what, uh, what Stephen was referencing before with, with the, uh, obviously the opening line from the show, um, in this pack, we are, because we, we want to make sure that everyone's introduced to this uh, iconic show, we go back to the island and we have a lot of fun with Stephen. Um, I would buy this game just for Aero Lego Diggle. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is class. Like, do you do you say you have failed the city at all? I I certainly hope so. Yeah, that has to happen. It's not a real DLC pack if it's not. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a whole bunch of stuff we have to cover, and we're out of time already. Believe it or not, I know. Sad this. Ladies and gentlemen, Lego Batman Three Beyond Gotham comes out November 11th. Please give it up for your panel, your amazing panel: Stephen, Arthur, Jeff, Troy, Kevin, uh, Stephen Amell. <laughs> <laughs>